What's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I usually drop one to two per week on different topics. If you're watching this on Facebook, please like the page, follow the page, and share this video. I would truly appreciate it. If you're watching this on Instagram, go ahead and double tap and share this with your friends. All right? And today I'm coming to you with my reaction to the Oklahoma City Thunder defeating the Houston Rockets 119 to 107 in overtime. It was a great game. Right, had me on the edge of my seat. I originally picked OKC in seven when this series started, and I was a little nervous going into game three because game two was a perfect game for OKC to win. Right? Houston shot the ball horribly. Harden had an off game from three. Eric Gordon couldn't hit the ocean if he fell off the boat. You have no Westbrook out there. So the fact that they lost that game, you're going into game three thinking, ah, what can OKC do if they can't win that game? But what they can do is they can hold Houston to another bad shooting performance. Houston only shot 30% from the three-point line, only a little bit over 40% from the field. And OKC's defense was able to do that because of their rotations, right? They were closing out to the three-point line, making it to where it wasn't just sitting down. A lot of, in game one, you saw Houston just being able to sit down, concentrate, hit the three. A lot of corner threes, even wing threes, where they're just sitting down, concentrating, checking the win doing all that stuff that he, you can do when the defense isn't pressuring you, right? So in this game, you see a lot of better rotations. Lou Dort. Lou Dort offensively isn't going to give you much, right? You see the stats below. But his hustle on defense, and it's not just him playing hard, but he has great defensive technique, great strength, right? So when he's playing against Harden, he's able to make Harden work hard. He knows how to close out without fouling Harden, which is very hard to do because Harden's great at creating contact on those three-point shots. So he closes out, makes the shot harder for Harden, right? And also when Harden driving, he doesn't just give up the layup, right? There was a lot of times where no help even had to come, and Dort was doing a great job of staying in front of James Harden. Um, there was a few times where help came and it wasn't needed, and Harden got to the free throw line because the help came. Notice Noel, I believe, did it twice. And Doris Berg did a great job pointing it out where, don't come help. Lou Dort has... Harden, not on lock, because you can't really lock up someone like James Harden, but he's making it as hard as possible on James Harden to score, right? For OKC also, man, Dennis Struder. Dennis Struder did a great job today of being aggressive, coming off the bench, providing that spark. And when they go to that three-point guard lineup of him, Chris Paul, Shea Gilge Alexander, it's very hard to guard them, right? Because you have three guys who can all create, and the spacing is unbelievable and the speed up and down the floor is not gonna be stagnant at all. So that's what OKC did today. They were able to get up and down the floor into their possessions really quickly. The problems they had in games one and two on offense is when they got stagnant. You had people just standing around and people isolating and against a team that can switch everything and there's no big little mismatch that you're gonna get against Houston, that's when you get into trouble. So what you can do is get in transition, do their own game against them. Make them hustle back on defense. Make them try to scramble around to find the matchups. And that's what OKC did today. Got to give a big shout out to Shea Gildress Alexander. Huge game today. That three-pointer he made towards the end of regulation where Chris Paul drove, kicked it out to him. A lot of young guys would have got nervous in that moment, right? You would have saw him shaking as he go up to take that shot. Because he's by himself. You got all the time in the world to think about it, get in your own head. He made that shot with no hesitation. So you got to give a big shout out to the young fella for doing that. He's also good on defense. Made some great plays out there, being on help, playing man-to-man. -man. Shea Gilchrist Alexander has a very bright future. Chris Paul, man. Chris Paul is the point guard for a reason. I just mentioned that great pass that he made to SGA in the corner at the end of regulation to get the lead, which led to overtime. NOT hit two huge threes to help separate Houston from OKC in overtime. And the one he hit over Austin Rivers where Austin Rivers has great position and he just <laughs> held it up on him like that. Come on, man. Only a few people in the league can do that. Chris Paul is one of them. So I believe that OKC has truly found a formula against Houston, right? And going forward, it's gonna be tough because you still gotta win three more games and Houston only has to win two. But 
I believe OKC really does have the formula to do it. So I'm still sticking with my OKC and seven pick here. But it's going to be hard because you got people like James Harden who are going to ball out. Even with Lou Dort doing such a great job, he still had a great game. And even though his efficiency wasn't the best, you got to think that that's going to change, right? His three-point shot is going to come. Lou Dort's going to make it hard because he's so great at being in perfect position. But James Harden is going to come around. Russell Westbrook is going to come back soon. Eric Gordon's shot is going to start to fall, right? Eric Gordon had a rough day from the three-point range, and his plus-minus wasn't the best, but he's definitely going to be able to score. That's what he does, right? Jeff Green made some big plays in this game as well for Houston. He's somebody who they can depend on. They have a lot of great shooters out there, and their style is just made for it. So it's going to be a, a very interesting series to watch down the stretch here of games four, five, six, and seven, I believe. But I got OKC in seven. Do you think OKC can come back and win this series? Please let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, go real or go home.